The pictures are dramatic. The story is even scarier. So I was standing in my bedroom getting ready and I heard a big crash. So I looked out my window. I saw the school bus going about probably 30. It nicked the house that we're standing in front of and then it went straight into the house behind us. Uh, no brakes, nothing. Police say the 66 year old driver said he blacked out and doesn't remember anything. The bus veered out of control, taking out mailboxes before hitting the two houses. Crews had to shut off the gas to one of the homes because of a leak. The homeowner's fiance was in the house that suffered the most damage at the time of the crash. She heard a noise. I had no idea what it was, and then smelt, um, smelt like burning oil, burning rubber, whatever. Went to check on her dog, and then that's when she actually saw the bus in the house. Wickman's fiance called him and told him to come home right away. I was kind of uh, actually a little bit better than I expected when I got here. I thought the tail end of the bus would be in the air and the bus would be all the way down in the basement. Luckily, the children on the bus earlier had just been dropped off and there were no kids at the corner waiting to be picked up. They all congregate right here on either one of those corners in the morning, so it's, yeah, it's very fortunate that that didn't happen. As bad as it looks, everyone here is still breathing a sigh of relief. I'm just really glad that the driver's apparently somewhat okay and uh, that no kids were on the bus and everybody's safe, fiance's safe and dog is safe. So.